Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York, and today we're going to talk about Chinatown, which is a neighborhood in Lower Manhattan. Its surrounding neighborhoods include the Lower East Side to its east, Little Italy to its north, the Civic Center to its south, and Tribeca to its west. Chinatown is home to the highest concentration of Chinese people in the Western Hemisphere. With an estimated population of about 100,000 people, Manhattan's Chinatown is also one of the oldest Chinese ethnic enclaves. The Manhattan Chinatown is one of nine Chinatown neighborhoods in New York City, as well as one of 12 in the New York metropolitan area, which contains the largest ethnic Chinese population outside of Asia. It's a densely populated neighborhood that draws foodies and tourists to many of its Chinese and Southeast Asian restaurants for dumplings, pork buns, and hand-pulled noodles. The busy sidewalks are packed with souvenir stores, bubble tea shops, and markets selling everything from fresh and dried fish to herbs and spices. Locals hang out in the leafy Columbus Park for Tai Chi, chess, and Mahjong. What are we waiting for? Let's get going and check this place out. This is Paris Restaurant, which is on Mott Street, which used to be part of Little Italy, but has slowly been taken over by Chinatown. The ever-growing Chinatown is taking over lots of neighborhoods. So what we have here is a restaurant called Paris, serving Vietnamese food in Chinatown on a street that used to be part of Little Italy. If there was ever a culture clash going on in Manhattan, it would definitely be in this area surrounding Little Italy and Chinatown. Here we have roasted duck. Many stores in Chinatown have roasted ducks hanging in their windows to entice shoppers from the street. Pell Street is both small and iconic. Filmmakers love to shoot on the street because it's short and narrow and is lined with numerous storefronts, awnings, flags, and electric signs that basically scream Chinatown, New York City. Doyer Street is a tiny winding street that branches off of Pell about halfway down. Doyer's is one of the very few winding streets in Manhattan. Most are straight. The street used to be notorious for gang wars and drug trafficking, mostly heroin. Uh, there's a sharp curve off of Doyer Street, also known as Bloody Angle. The tiny, narrow street had one of the highest murder rates in the city. Things have long since cooled down here, and locals and tourists can walk Pell and Doyer Streets without any worry. And if you also note, the street signs in Chinatown are also in English as well as Chinese, just like the Pell Street sign above. While you won't find laundry hanging on fire escapes in some upscale areas of Manhattan, it's quite common all over New York City, including Chinatown. And I'm sure there's some kind of fire code violation going on here. Here we have a woman selling fresh produce in Chinatown. If you want some really good produce at a really great price, Chinatown's the place to go. This is McDonald's on Bowery Street in Chinatown. Even though just about all of the signage and menus are in Chinese, there's no mistaking the double golden arches and the power of a logo known worldwide. In case you were wondering, the menu is exactly the same as any other McDonald's in the United States. Fish markets are everywhere in Chinatown. Many people come with their own insulated bags and shop for the fresh daily catch. Because there's many on every block, if you're looking for an unusual variety, you'll most likely find it here. Here is some street art featuring gelato surrounded by ads for Chinatown businesses. The writing is literally on the wall as Little Italy surrenders precious real estate to the quickly growing Chinatown. Outside of Times Square, Chinatown has got to be Manhattan's most colorful neighborhood. There's some interesting sculptures running down the median of Bowery Street in Chinatown. The sculptures, about 12 of them, are metal on black bases, perhaps granite. They're the work of Mexican artist Gilberto Navarro, who calls the exhibition Las Bicicletas. They're obviously people riding bicycles, but take another look with an open mind. Don't they resemble Chinese writing? I wonder if they can be interpreted from Chinese to English and what the message is. I'm providing this Chinese character for illustration. It's the Chinese symbol for love. I still say my observation's a pretty good one. Those bicycles do look like Chinese writing. Comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. Here is another example of Chinese-influenced architecture on the corners of Canal Street and Center Street in Chinatown. The details are very ornate and beautiful. In this photo, we're looking down at Chinatown Street towards the Two Bridges section of Manhattan. If you look off into the distance, you can see one of the bridges. That, of course, is the Brooklyn Bridge connecting Brooklyn to Lower Manhattan. Here's some street art at the Alfred E. Smith Elementary School in Chinatown. The New York City public school system is the largest in the world and has an annual budget of well over $25 billion. There's over 1,700 public schools in the city. 
The Alfred E. Smith PS Number 1 has the distinction of being number one. We Run as Number 1 says it all in the photo. Not only are they proud, but they're artistic as well. This is the Sarah D. Roosevelt Park in the Bowery. A Chinese festival is taking place today in the park's southern end, which borders the Bowery and the quickly expanding Chinatown. Note the playground features resemble the Brooklyn Bridge, which is very close by, with a Chinese flair. Here we are outside of New York Marts, an impressive food destination. Inside you'll find a huge array of Chinese and Asian goods, along with the usual American fare. The supermarket is located on Mott Street. The aquariums with live fish and shellfish are actually seen from the exterior of the building, and you'd have to go inside to pick out what you want. Inside the New York Mart, you'll find just about anything you need to create just about anything you want in your kitchen. Produce, a bakery, butcher, a huge fish department, and lots of unusual Asian groceries. There are steam tables and rotisseries for ready to take out, lots of roast duck, and of course, some exotic items like live frogs. I wanted to take them home, not to eat, just to adopt them. The Mahayana Buddhist Temple is the largest of its kind in the city. For a dollar donation, you get a banded fortune. The temple came to this location in 1996. Prior to that, it was the Rosemary Theater, which showed adult movies. This kind of stuff only happens in New York. In Chinatown, you'll find Kim Lao Square. It's a small park or square, and is home to two monuments. Lin Zi Zhao was a scholar and a government bureaucrat in China back in the 1830s. He was also the first Chinese official to battle the importation of opium into China by the British. Yes, drug wars go way back. The monument was dedicated in 1997 and is inscribed, Pioneer in the War Against Drugs. The Kim Lao Memorial Arch was erected by the American Legion in 1962 to honor United States service members of Chinese ancestry who have fought and died serving their country. These trash containers are located in Chinatown. New Yorkers, for the most part, are compulsive about litter. Drop or leave something behind and it will be quickly pointed out to you. Perhaps it's due to the dense population and the ability to lose control over litter quickly. Or perhaps, as seen here, it's just that there's a good fortune that awaits you. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click on that little bell to be alerted of new videos as they become available.